Mr. Beagley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly. I'm once again playing The Last Door, and I know that it's not very uh, common for me to play uh, two of the same game in a row as far as my alternating schedule goes, but uh, last episode I felt like I had kind of a cop-out at the end. I got lost, I didn't exactly know what I was doing or where I was going, so I had to look something up, and I'm, I'm completely honest about that. I just looked up the next part as far as what to do. Uh, that way uh, we're not wasting too much time and we can uh, progress in the game. <laughs> Uh, now, last episode, we got this creepy score, we found a dress and a wig, and we put it on the mannequin in the composer's room. Now, apparently, I can use this score to blow this feather out of the cage, which is really weird. It's not very intuitive, uh, but uh, hey, here we go. So now we're going to get this feather. We're going to be able to use the feather to get that resin that a lot of you guys were like, hey, why don't you use the resin for the mask? <laughs> and guys, I tried to use the resin for the mask if you were paying attention, which you weren't. Damn it, but <laughs> it's all good. Um, if I blow through the paper roll, maybe I can manage to make the feather fly. So, oh, so I'm not like, like fanning it. I'm blowing through the paper roll. That's just weird. <laughs> just goofy. I got it. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in the base. Wonderful. Is that goddamn creepy left? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna get the resin for the mask, we're gonna make the mask, we're gonna go back to the composer's room and put the, uh, the creepy mask on the, um, on the lady mannequin. Wonderful. Uh, god, this game gives me the willy. I, I have so many freaking goosebumps because of this game all the time. So I don't know why we couldn't put the resin on the paper, but we can put it on a feather? I don't know. I managed to coat the feather with the resin. Wonderful, great, great. So I have a resin feather. My freaking phone is freaking out. Sorry guys, I had to look and see why I'm getting so many notifications on Twitter. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, anything to distract myself from the horror that is this game it is terrifying. Uh, I don't want to go back up here to the laughy room, but I'm going to have to. We're going to keep moving along, trucking along to this dark freaking stupid house. <laughs> Hate that goddamn laugh every time. Uh, let's go into the composer's room. Hello, sir. You weirdo. But you're a nice weirdo. Yeah, for now. I've stuck the pieces together with the resin. This face, it reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. Probably the painting in the room we're in. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and we will put this mask on the mannequin. Something scary is going to happen. Guaranteed. Daphne, you're back. Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again. And I now know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please, take my violin. Now that I've completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I don't want to do that. Please tell me how to leave. Okay. Oh, what is the Simurg? What is the Simurg? It is what the crows are searching for. It is what you search for, too. Okay, I must go. I need to get out of here. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Okay, look for the Simurg. Okay, I will. Uh, a tailor's mannequin. Why is it beside the window? Good God, who knows? I'm not even... Actually, I'm not going to talk to you again. You don't have anything else for me. Uh, so I have a violin and I have a key, which is good. Uh, so now we can cruise over to the mausoleum. Uh, and... Hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, do some cool stuff. And now we hear the violin music echoing through the house because he has figured out how to compose his masterpiece. Wonderful for him. Great. Now we have to go into the creepy mausoleum though. I really don't want to. I am so afraid of this. Uh, and look how fast the walk animation is. In this chapter especially, it's like really good. Oh man, I don't want to go in here, but we have to. It's a mausoleum. Oh, it's dead stuff. And here lies an angel 
great. Wow, that's loud music. I hope you guys can hear me over it. It's really good, but it's God damn it, it's this loud. Um, here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who did not hear her. Pity for those not blessed by her naive grace. Not shaken by her heavenly voice. Good God, I think I gotta turn that down a little bit. Sorry, guys. Here's a pausey buzz moment. Okay, sorry. My volume cranked too high. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I missed all that dialogue. Okay, something soul. Actually, we can read that again. Not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls into divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne, God rest her soul. Sorry that I had to pause it there for a second to read that, but that's okay because that gives me a breather, so I'm not freaking out. The sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? Uh, Satan? Uh, I don't like this. A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coffin transported through here? Do I... Do I... I don't want to go... Oh. Oh! I went in, and things happened. Let's look at this first. I can't see anything through these dirty window panes. So what is... What... What is all this? This is very interesting. It's a new part of town. It's locked. Oh, thank God. Good. I don't want to go inside. <gasps> what the... What was that? Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole. Oh, dude, don't do that. Uh, oh, no. Some things. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Darkness there. Nothing more. Oh, dude. I don't want to look through again. Do I have to? Oh, we're going to do it. Uh, ah, Jesus Christmas! I knew something was gonna happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that was a lot quicker than I expected. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, I, why would I want to go in there now, though? I mean, I have to, but... Can I go this way? What is this? Can I go in here? Oh, it just leads in a big circle. I see. <sighs> God damn it. That got me. Got me good. Even though I knew it was coming, it got me. Okay. With the help of River, the Naiad, Daphne, hid from the sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin for da strong bark, so her heart was forever concealed, her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Okay. Weird. Weird. A lot of dusty books, anatomy, history, science. Uh, huh. Books with unpronounceable names in dead languages. Ah, uh, weird. Weird, weird, weird. I can't believe that got me that good. But it got me. It got me. Uh, it's, it, it's the pacing of the jump scares in this that make, <laughs> make it good for me. Um, myths and legends this time. Norse tales... Greek, ancient Sumerian, others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. Now, guys, just to let you know, there's a chance that I'm going to do three episodes today. Um, if I don't, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get to three. I think it would be really cool if I could... Uh, hello? Can I... Let's look at this picture first. A painting of an old factory. I guess someone was really attached to the place. Keep going out of character. Hello, sir? I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. Um, what are you... What are you doing here, sitting in the dark? Why, I am reading these marvelous books. In the dark? But how can you see the words without any light? This is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know so they can only be read in darkness. Um, are you the owner of this bookstore? Or bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone, not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Okay, man of weird appearance. Oh, I clicked Simurg. Would you know the importance or meaning of Simurg? Simurg. Simurg, ah, yes, the Bird King. Probably the eyeball I saw earlier. There is a book of ancient poetry here that makes mention of him. I'm sure you can find it here somewhere. A uh, man of weird appearance. Have you seen a man pass this way? 
He is red-haired, tall, and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, perusing the books. He would pick one off up. Blah, blah, blah. He would pick one off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He and I never spoke, though. Why do you ask? I guess that he's calling me. I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he's guiding me towards something. That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through lost places. Can you tell me which books this man perused? Let me think. Ah, uh, yes. I recall his looking at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome, very revealing and very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Okay. Well, excuse the interruption, dude. Pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. Oh. I didn't mean... Okay. Whatever, whatever. A, a large collection of books. So like I was saying, that was a weird conversation. Cool that there's another kind of cool dude here, though. Um, like I was saying, I might get to three episodes today. If not, I'm very, very sorry. All depends on how long this one takes to edit and render out. Um, also, I've been... Another reason I'm playing this besides the fact that last episode I kind of uh, missed out on some stuff. Uh, we're gonna talk in this room for a second. Um, holy crap! I had like a chill run all the way up and down my spine. That was terrifying. Another reason is because I like this game so much, I really want to find out what's happening. Sorry, that's all I had to say. Now back to the scariness. This is the worst. I hate this game. I... <laughs> I don't like that singing. It's not good for me. A book lies on the floor. Its spine reads, Unexplored Places of the Empire. A page has been marked. Can we take it? The Place of the Eternal Fog, also known as Zai La. It is a unique bay in the east of Balishwar, near the jungles of Bengala. It is surrounded by tall, snow-capped mountains, usually covered in mist. The waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. I was so ready for her to be standing there, scaring me. What is this other music? What is happening? Hello? It's a massive dead tree. How could it have formed here inside this building without sunlight? God, I don't know. What is this? On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Zai La. The page to which it was open has been torn out, but the remaining fragment identifies the song title, The Search for Simurg. What is this up here? I see something caught in the branches. It appears to be a page torn from the book below. Uh, okay, how do I... How do I get that? Can I violin it? Ha <laughs> ha! No? Okay. Okay, violin doesn't do anything right now. The window is shrouded with a thick layer of dust. Not even a glimmer of light shines through. Now, they called Daphne. He said to give the violin to Daphne. Now, Daphne, uh, apparently, remains of a coffin. It looks like it was bursted from the inside. God damn it, that's Daphne's coffin then. Oh, that's creepy. So, my guess is they called her a naiad, uh, which is, I believe, a forest spirit. Um... Oh, God, shut up. Woman, God. Um, <laughs> and which means that I, I, I'm pretty sure that means that she, and it said in the poem earlier, or not the poem, the, uh, the excerpt, that she traded her skin for bark. So did she turn into a tree? I don't know. Let's go down this hole and find out. And, oh, piss, ass, 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 ass. A surprisingly lush vegetation covers the place. I don't recognize the species these plants belong to. I, I hate everything about this game. The singing stopped, at least. That's good, right? I don't know which is worse. Dead silence or singing death of doom death. Oh, uh, I'm down in the sewer again. Oh, man. So this led back to the sewer. Um, alright guys, actually this is, uh, 
You know what? No. We're gonna forge ahead. Do I use this violin on this tree? Oh god, we do. Oh, I didn't want to click that so soon. Oh, please don't do bad things, please! Oh! What's happening? The violin has disappeared amongst the roots as if swallowed up. The trunk seems to be expanding. The noise came from above. Oh. Do I... Do... I guess I should finish this, right? I don't know if this is the end of the chapter, or... Or what? I guess we'll go up above and find out. Hello? Hello? Please don't kill me. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, oh Jesus, what is happening? The tree has grown. Some of the branches have crashed through the window and into the street. Holy butts. Oh, Roni. On the ground lies a book, blah, 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 blah. We've seen that already. So where's the, uh, the window has been broken. Light streams in. The light's nice. I like the light. That's a good touch, right? Let's get the hell out of here. Let's truck it. I'm so glad the walk animation is as fast as it is now. Oh, God. It's dark here again. Hello again, sir. Do you have anything new to tell me now? Okay, I guess not. Okay, bye. Bye, dude. I hope you're enjoying the book you're reading, because everything is effed up at the moment. Oh, God, this game, guys. I'm not a fan of the craziness, but I am a fan of the craziness. I am and I'm not at the same time. So where the hell did the branches go? Not here. They go... Where could they have gone? Said out the window. It wouldn't be back into the mausoleum, would it? We'll find out. Oh, no. Okay. Back to the house, maybe. Ugh, I have goosebumps everywhere. No? Okay, so, um, where... Are these branches? I don't like this place, though. That is scary. It is a scary place. Uh, okay. It, oh, are they in the fog, maybe? Let's go in the fog and find out. Hello? Foggy branches? Maybe? Hello? I don't think we're going to find them out here, guys. Maybe. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Nope. I got lost in the fog. Um, so I guess I'm going to stop the episode there, guys. Uh, that's all I know how or what to do. We'll explore more next time. Try to find where the branches go. Maybe I just needed to stay in the bookstore. Who knows? Uh, but we'll figure it out. And... Um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. I'm sweating a little bit because I... <laughs> that was nerve-wracking uh, for a bit there. I can't believe I jumped that much when that eyeball appeared. But um, thanks, guys, so much for watching and uh, just supporting the series, especially those of you who are really into this game. It's really cool to me. I love the style. I, uh, I really do like making videos of this specific game, and we have another chapter after this one uh, that will conclude Season 1 of this game, and I guess they're working on Season 2 right now, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, be sure to subscribe to me as well if you haven't already. For those of you who are already subscribers, thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. ADHD, I love it because it basically turns every class you have into a Hokage. And uh, the speed sense, I'm like so super fast. I'm, I'm the best. I'm the super fastest. Yeah. Check me out. I don't know why I say the word super fast. It makes me sound like a 90s catchphrase. I'm super fast. I'm super radical. Ow. <laughs>